Okay, uh, welcome. In this video, we're going to talk about parse.com and how we are going to be using parse.com as our backhand. So a backhand is place where, like a server pretty much, where you can store information uh, or data about your app. And so what parse.com is pretty useful for is it's, uh, it stores all our data and it eliminates like here it says, the goal is to try to eliminate the need for writing server code or maintaining servers. So all you have to focus on is just making your app look beautiful and focus on the, the user interface, the user back, like the user front end, how the user will interact with your app, and parse.com will handle our data. So that's a pretty cool and powerful stuff to if you we have to think about it because previously before uh, before uh, we had. Uh, services like parse.com, which is a cloud service, service uh, we had to create our own server, and that took ton of hours of writing the same code repeatedly. So parse came along and kind of really eliminated this need of writing the same code that developers uh, uh, usually write when creating apps. So you know some codes are just kind of similar, and you might need to use this code in the next project so there's no need for writing the same code all the time so parse.com is a really useful part uh, as far as helping developers is concerned so let's go ahead and uh, check out how parse.com uh, pretty work so the first thing you need to do before using parse is installing its SDK into our project so in this case we need to install the parse SDK so that our apps our app is able to communicate to our server parse.com which is our back end where we'll be storing our data so that's pretty much what um, the concept is all about so parse.com is going to be installing our app as a third-party library so we're going to export the library and as you can see here inside of our app, this there's a folder called libs this is where you will we will be putting our uh, parse uh, jar files um, or libraries so um, before before they fixed it there was a bug before I don't know if you, if you still encountered that but sometimes you might not get that you get might get that um, libraries when you import libraries into your project they might not get uh, they're not uh, immediately access accessible because of uh, maybe uh, a mistyped path or a broken path so to fix this there's always an, a, a quick fix by going to build uh, gradle and fixing the compile uh, section so this if I don't believe there's any errors